I have no doubt that there are better ways to do this project. And I would appreciate if you can leave in the comments your ideas on how to do this better. Essentially, I used four things. Some AAA batteries put together in series to make three volts. A photoresistor, which I bought a whole bag full for 20 cents a piece off Amazon. I don't really know much about photoresistors and other electronic things, but essentially a photoresistor works like a switch, and when you shine a bright light at it, it turns on or closes the contacts and allows current to pass through. So initially, I connected the battery through the photoresistor to the servo, and nothing happened. Because it turns out, the photoresistor cannot pass enough current to be useful, or to do this amount of work. So I grabbed this relay out of my toolbox, and a relay its whole purpose in life is to take a small amount of current, like that that you can pass through your photoresistor, and it uses, uh, uses that as an electromagnet to close a set of contacts and let you pass high current. So the photoresistor got wired to the coil. Doesn't matter which way. There is no frontwards or backwards. And then that allows the relatively high current to pass through the ends. And again, this is a close-up of the wiring diagram. And here's the actual piece. So from the end there, and there is the high current, and those two that are closer together are where the coil is. And here's a diagram of the entire project. So here it is. Essentially, I connected the positive end of the battery through the photoresistor, connected that to the relay, and the relay connected to the servo. With only one more modification. A servo, which is another thing I'm not very smart about. you got to pull these four screws out and remove this cover. A servo, if you just connect it to a battery, it doesn't do anything. So you need to cut these three wires here. Just get rid of them. And then these red wires, unsolder them or disconnect them from the motor. That black thing is the motor. And then take a couple wires. I took the yellow and orange one over here because now they're extra. And I soldered them onto the contacts for the motor. Once you do that, you can connect them to a battery and it will turn about 180 degrees and stop on its own. And here are the actual parts I bought off Amazon. Don't know what I'll do with 20 photo resistors, but I couldn't find a smaller container. So hey, thanks for watching. Leave some comments about how I can do it better.